Mr. Bradshaw at AdSomeToYourIncome.com here to share with you some quotes that really helped me to take the next step, to move forward into the next thing in my life when I'm lacking motivation, I'm feeling life is too tough, and I just don't want to keep going. I've got these quotes, and these are keep on keeping on quotes. That's kind of something I've come up with, the keep on keeping on quotes. Just keep going. I hope for you, if you are needing some motivation, that these quotes can help you find the inner strength to do the next thing. So let's dive in. Steve Siebold, whom I've met and enjoyed the, the pleasure of you know, being at a workshop, says, on the way to world-class success, you're going to risk your time, your money, your ego, your self-esteem, your friendships, your family, and everyone else, uh, everything else, until you make it. And then people will call you lucky. I like how he says this. This point of when you're becoming world-class success and you dedicate yourself to your craft and become the expert at what you're doing, you must sacrifice time, time with your family, time with your friends. You got to put your money where your mouth is. You get to that point where you actually have to invest in the next thing. Your ego's on the line, learning to be humble. You start to question whether you're actually going to make it and you have enough voices that say that you're not very good at what you do or you're not doing it very well. You finally have to fix your own self-esteem. Phrase I heard a lot as a kid, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and make it work. Thomas S. Monson is known for work, is saying, work will win when wishy-washy wishing won't. It's a lot of W's. <laughs> I learned when my kid was in fifth grade, and you have a phrase where it starts with the same sound. It's called, oh, what is it called? It's, it's like creative phrases, uh, alliteration, alliteration, always the same sound at the beginning. There's nothing better than adversity. Every defeat, every heartbreak, every loss contains in it seeds its own lesson on how to improve your performance for next time. Thank you, Malcolm X. It's not the load that breaks you down, it's the way you carry it, said Lao Holtz. Yeah, I chose the railroad for that one. Carrying the load. Frank Robinson was became a great baseball player, but it, it came after a, a lot of work and finally getting the break. And so his quote here is great. It says, I was willing to do whatever I had to do to break the barrier because all I kept hearing was, oh, if you only had the experience. And I was trying to eliminate that excuse. Find the experience, get the experience, break through the barrier, have your breakthrough moment, get your break. And you were gonna... I was thinking I would warn that the bell was going to ring while I was talking, just to be like, at a certain point during this talk, the bell is supposed to ring. It was the final bell of the school day over here, moving forward. If you're not being criticized, you're following, not leading. Money grows on the tree of persistence. Oh my goodness, this Japanese proverb, when I came across it, I just really held on to that. I don't remember where it was. It was, I think, an online article, but me, the add some to your income, this quote, we're just meant to be. We were meant to be friends before I even met this quote. Um, Money grows on the tree of persistence. Ah, oh, so true. Persist at it, keep at it, master who you are and what you're doing, and then the money is on that tree. It's awesome. 
All you need is one person to say yes to an idea. So find that person that's going to say yes. You'll hear plenty of no's. That's the first response. In Latin-based languages, no is consistent across the board, whereas yes sounds different. <laughs> you know? In French, it is we. We, sorry. In, uh, in Espanol, it is si. In English, it is yes. I would love to be able to quote more Latin-based languages, and eventually I might uh, with some more study on my part. It's common to hear the no. No, 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 no. Until you finally get to the yes. Every once in a while, a new technology and an old problem, a big idea, turn into an innovation. All right, so you're stuck. Move to thinking, all right, new technology, old problem. Let's find the idea. The critical thinking question for success is simple. How much failure and frustration can you endure before you quit? Those who take one more step are a step ahead of everyone else. The last quote was by Steve Siebold. This one is my own. I found a nice picture to go along with it, too. I don't think they're actually footprints, but they look like they're footprints. <laughs> if you have no critics, you'll likely have no success. This is, again, don't be afraid that people are telling you no or that you shouldn't be doing it. Move forward with what you know is going to work for you. Success is more a function of consistent common sense than it is of genius. So true, Anway. Uh, one t sometimes finds what one is not looking for. This reminds me of my give it a rest quotes. Sometimes when you're taking that rest, you've been working at it, you've been working at it, you're working at it, and then you give it a break. And in that moment, clicks together something. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, Sir Alexander Fleming. How many have been close to their ambition but lose faith in themselves and the golden prize has been lost forever? I loved P.T. Barnum, Barnum's story. And this was a quote of, of his story in a book called The Art of, Ma of Money Making. Money Getting, sorry. The Art of Money Getting. And I, I loved watching The Greatest Showman, the show when it came out, and about P.T. Barnum and him living, going for his dream. And, and definitely, definitely matches this close to that point and had to keep going and then became successful. Next to trying and winning, the, ne the best thing is trying and failing. So awesome. You know, when you walk away and you lose, or you were in a fight and you got knocked down, and here's Jack Dempsey saying, Dempsey, <laughs> I'll drop the uh, M that first time. Jack Dempsey saying, a champion is someone who gets up when he can't. I find many people get knocked down is that moment where they just realize, I don't have enough time. We'll never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass away. Thank you, Earl Nightingale. Running alone is the toughest. You get to the point where you have to keep pushing yourself. You got to keep pushing. Number one, forward. Thank you, Walter Payton. Thoughts are mightier the strength of hand. So what Sophius is saying here, we, we can work pretty well with a strength of our hand. We can do quite a bit. Thoughts. Thoughts are able, when intertwined especially, and agreed on with a certain group of people, able to make this forward momentum and strength and power far beyond what I could lift with my own hands. Tough times never last, but tough people do. I like looking up this picture and finding something here for what a doctor, I think, would be looking at. And the tough times that we saw during 2020 with the coronavirus and needing to find the vaccine and what we lived through to get there, this really this quote came to me in 2020 and i really liked it 
Tough times never last, but tough people do. That reminds me also of the beginning of um, Dickens' Tale of Two Cities, where he says it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Wow, what a powerful beginning to a story. And I definitely know, what I think I've found in life is the people who are saying, this is terrible, you know, this is, this is so bad. Okay, that's their outlook on things, right? It's tough. It is tough. I, I, I definitely agree that life is tough. Life is tough. And we are tough. <laughs> so keep on keeping on. Hank Aaron's motto was always to keep swinging, whether he was in a slump or feeling badly or having trouble off the field. The only thing to do was keep swinging. Thank you, Hank. I'm sure you're also friends with Frank. What can stop the determined heart and resolved will of man? That's my ending quote. What can stop you when you are actually determined? You set your will to accomplish something. What can stop you? When you keep on keeping on, I look forward to seeing you on the other side.